Chapter 1. This is Seeking an Understanding of School Culture Using Theory as a Framework for Observation and Analysis. This was contributed by Joyce L. Henstrand. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember from the introductory chapter, uh, it told us that the theoretical framework within Chapter 1 is culture. And the field of study and discipline is cognitive anthropology, with the focus of study being um, organizational change in the culture of teachers. And looking back over the progression of discussion, um, our, the editors of the book reminded us that there, it would follow a six-step process, with the first one being an overview of the study that informed the basis for the discussion of the theoretical framework used, what the purpose was, research questions, methods uh, employed, the findings, and the conclusions. And so within chapter one, following this progression, um, we see that the purpose is of the case study is looking at planned change at a high school, Emerson High School. It's a large suburban high school, um, and it was conducted to contribute to the understanding of the process of reforming secondary schools. Little research had previously been done on secondary schools, which led to the authors, one of the reasons the, um, the contributing authors wanted to focus her study on this. Most inve investigations of change um, thus far had been from a technological or political perspective. Again, this supported her reason to use a cultural perspective. Her essential question of the study was, what is going on here? As simple as that. And it was, it's a question that is suitable and lends itself well to ethnographic research. The methodology um, that she used was eth ethnographic research techniques of cultural anthropology and conducted research from her perspective as a full-time practicing teacher in a large high school. It included anthropological fieldwork as well as a rationale detailing the implications of the native becoming a researcher. Some strategies that she employed, um, they all generally followed Spradley's cycle um, played over many times. Um, the strategy used at any point in time depended on the feedback from the field as well as um, redefinition of research questions as the researchers understanding of the culture deepened and the meanings that the participants attached to things that were happening. Her strategies included interviewing, observation, key informants, surveys and questionnaires, and data collection. The second um, area of discussion detailed the description of the theoretical frameworks used in the study and the discipline in which um, they originated. Before, beca before beginning um, the field work, uh, Hen Strand studied theory in two distinct areas, sociological and anthropolo anthropological theory that she felt would potentially guide both the gathering and the analysis of the data, and then uh, theoretical discussions by anthropologists regarding the research role of an active participant observer. Three, four, and five areas um, three, how the researcher found the theoretical framework and what convinced him or her that this was an appropriate framework to use. Um, the researcher's goal at the onset, onset of the study was to discover what was going on in a comprehensive high school that was attempting major change. She knew she would need a lens that would help her filter the input and develop a defensible interpretation. The researcher provided examples of various types of theories of insight and explained within her chapter how they were not as suitable in studying uh, to reach her primary goal. Uh, the effects the theoretical framework had on the research questions, the design of the study, and the analysis obtained. Um, Good enough's cultural perspective was a framework that she felt shed the needed light to reflect the prisms of perspectives she was actually studying. Good enough's uh, perspective of culture, culture pull, and proprio proprospect provided the framework for looking at both the big picture and the subtleties that were going on. Um, Joyce Henstrand concluded her chapter by sharing that despite the challenges of time and accountability, 
using theory benefited both the process of doing the research and the product that emerged. Um, staying clear of using a grounded, she stayed clear of using a grounded theory framework um, and she relied on the approach of critical ethnographic design. She began with a theory that informed the study. She did not uh, use her data and analysis to discover a theory, but used a theory to help guide her research. And that was chapter one.